Hey, today I'm gonna do the test review of one of the basics for any developer, the code editor Sublime Text. This is Matteo and welcome to Software Reviews. Sublime is a tool I use almost every day to program anything from web apps to robotics. I've been using it for at least four years and for those ones that are not that much into tech, it basically lets you write code in any language with a nice interface. I'm gonna review today four sections and at the end I'll valorate them from one to five stars, get the average and explain my final thoughts on this amazing tool. So let's get started with design. The user interface is based on material design that you can customize using plugins and packages. It uses syntax alike depending on the language you're using, which is great. It also lets you set a ruler at different distances and is very simple and intuitive, especially for beginners. The best of its design comes from some unique features that makes coding easier. It has well-organized folder tab, extremely helpful when working with big projects. It lets you split the screen, which is amazing. And it lets you take tabs to different parts of the screen. What I also use very frequently is its portal function that lets you use different windows at the same time while coding. Moreover, it has a non-distracting mode if you really want to get into the code flow and a very useful minimap where you can navigate easily from bottom to top through big files of code. Finally, it also has more functionalities you can install from third-party plugins like code folding and this takes us to our second section. Performance. Now in terms of performance compared to other code editors out there, it's the fastest one, also very light, extremely light compared to others like Atom or Visual Studio and very stable. However, what people normally dislike from this tool is that for adding any theme, any extension, any plugins, you won't be able to do it in the tool itself, but you'll have to go to external website or third-party users that has these packages. Sublime lets third-party users to create plugins, which I think is great because there is a huge library of extra functionalities to add and it's amazingly flexible but definitely sometimes tricky to add. There are some websites focused on this where you can search or explore features that I will leave in the comment box and that I definitely recommend. Sublime has up to 3,800 packages. Yeah, you have it right. 3,800 packages you can download and install, including Git integration, for example. Some incredible features these two offers are authentication, key shortcuts, for example, to comment or generate automatic code, find and replace, several cursors at the same time, or autocomplete. It's also multi-platform, which means you can use it in a Mac, Windows, Linux, wherever you want. In terms of the learning curve, it's one of the easiest and most intuitive ones to start with. Not only that, but thanks to packages and extensions, you can add more complexity and features to the tool whenever you feel more confident. The only downsides I see out there is that for downloading these extensions, these extra features, unless you know very specifically what you want or you have an idea of what are you gonna use it for, it is a bit tricky to learn whatever what the tool can do for you, what extra features you can add, and so on. Finally, in terms of price, it's completely free. When you go to the website, they'll show you that you can download a free trial, but this free trial basically works forever. They put out there a symbolic price to show how much effort they take for building this code editor and some people actually pay it as a donation almost. It's also important to note that while using Sublime Text there's gonna be a pop ad sometimes when you save it that is gonna say if you want to purchase it or if you want to keep working with the trial version. But in my own experience I don't think this is a problem with the tool. All right, so to sum up and for the final valoration, I had to lower down some of the marks of this tool because its complexity when installing features, packages, 
extra things that I felt it was a bit complicated to look up for them and installing them. So for the final variation, the tool has four stars for design due to the problem I already mentioned. 4.5 for performance, one of the fastest code editors out there. 5 for the price, it couldn't be cheaper. And 4.5 for the learning curve to this problem, as I mentioned, of having to look up for new features or packages out there. The average is 4.5 stars, so well done, Sublime. It's a tool I've been using for many years, and I've seen other programmers using it, talk to them, compare it with other tools like Visual Studio Atom. It's definitely a tool I would recommend to everyone from beginners to experts. So that's it. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you think that there are other better coding tools, your opinion in general about this topic. And remember that this weekend we are debuting with our new show, Tech Business Breakdown. So until then, stay tuned.